What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another video of Tristiano Stuff. Today, we're going to be talking about... This is a really crazy one, and I don't exactly get how this is a single letter. Or how this is just a letter. It, it just doesn't make sense. Um, it's a Filipino-specific thing. I mean, they might have it in other languages, but Filipino is where I know it from. Um, different Filipino languages. Uh, mainly Tagalog. I don't know if Basaya has it, but, um, Tagalog definitely does, um, so it's a Tagalog thing, and maybe other languages, I'm not too aware, but this is really not a letter, um, the letter, it's NZ, um, which is like a weird form of Enye, but not Enye, of course, um, and it makes a nya sound. So instead of nye, 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 it's nya, nya. Like, um, lasagna. Um, but that's different spelling, alright? This is in G. And you're like, but in and G are two letters. How is that one letter? That is what I'm saying. That it just doesn't make sense. Um, so. I mean, it just is, and there's examples of this in Cyrillic, at least Russian Cyrillic, um, that we'll talk about in the future. Um, but yes, Nya, or NZ is what it's called. Um, and yeah, used in Tagalog, really interesting letter. Um, apparently, like the meaning, it has a lot of meanings. It's a word, as well as a letter even though it's two letters put next to each other. Um, but it had, or it's a, uh, what's it? Oh yeah. It has a lot of meanings and it's, it can mean of, or of the, I guess. I don't know, I don't really speak Tagalog, but I have an example. Um, the name of the country, the Philippines in Tagalog is Republica Nya Filipinas. Um, meaning Republic of the Philippines, which is what it is in English. Um, so the Nya, as you can probably tell, replaces the of the aspect, or maybe just the of, because I don't know, I don't speak Tagalog, but you get the point. It's not Republic or Philippines, so it's, it's of, or of the, which doesn't make much of a difference either way. Um, but it is a neat letter with some interesting usage. Um, my Filipino friend who speaks Bisaya and to an extent Tagalog couldn't think of any words other than of Republica Nya Filipinas. And I actually brought that one up because I already knew it. Um, but it is there and it's used in other instances. Um, but was also interesting, and I didn't know this until earlier today, I mean, I didn't know about Nya either, uh, NC, but Tagalog had its own script. I mean, that makes sense, but, like, I didn't know there was, like, a kind of common recorded thing. Um, and while it's not used, it's, the Latin script is used, thank you, Spanish. Um, I mean, the Filipinos also have Spanish to thank for their usage of Inye, so, I mean, maybe they are grateful, but... That's not true. Nobody's grateful for Spanish colonizing them or anybody colonizing for them for, them for that matter. Um, but yeah, but the Philippines or um, Tagalog used to have its own script. That's very interesting. Um, my Filipino friend said it looks kind of like Arabic. I disagree, considering that I know what Arabic looks like and it's not that. But it is an interesting script. I recommend y'all look it up. Uh, Tagalog script, um, before Latin alphabet, um, but all these letters that I'm reviewing, so far at least, are from the Latin alphabet, they're just very interesting modified versions, also, um, the thing that I was going to talk about involving Thorn, um, yesterday, or I touched on it a little bit, you're only supposed to use it with certain sounds, it's the voice and voiceless, um, I believe dental fricative, um, so, words like thin, you would use thorn for. 
thin, but in things like Netherlands or there, right, the, 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 you would not use thorn. Um, I disagree. I mean, I agree that is how it is, apparently. I'm not going to deny that that was how it was historically. That is just, like, probably a fact. Um, but that's not how I will be using thorn. I will be using thorn for all THs. Um, I'm changing English. And for the better, that is. I'm... Thorn's just great. Um, but yeah, I guess I don't know enough about linguistics to get thorn right and... Well, if you break the rules without knowing it, change the rules, and then you didn't break them. That's that's my policy, all right? If you knowingly broke the rules, well, you knowingly broke the rules, and you suck. Um, change them anyways. I don't really care what you do. It's probably a good idea. You'll get yourself out of trouble, probably. Hopefully. Well, not hopefully, because you did a bad thing, and you're trying to get yourself out of trouble. So probably not hopefully. But, you know, you will. And good for you. I don't know why I keep ranting about random things. I'm going to stop talking now. Um, but thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment down below um, what you liked about it and what you'd like to see in the future. Um, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Um, and yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Have a great day. Etc. 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 Yes. Um, and if you have any recommendations for future letters, please, please, please be there for me because I am running out.